Hey guys, we got a Brooks fighting board. We're gonna be putting it on our Ultimate Legends arcade board and be playing on the PS4. Watch to the end to watch the bonus video. Here's your Brook fighting board with the cable. And you wanna make sure you order both. It makes the job a lot easier. Next we have disassembly. Remove the controller. Then flip over the controller. This is only eight screws on the back. Um, so you take them out and then uh, I'm gonna be drilling two new holes for the first player and the second player. So these are the new buttons installed and uh, drill those there's a lot of make sure you got something to pick up all the wood um, over here we got the fighting board and you can see it's all color-coded and once you put them on you'll you'll strip it back and you will attach a quick connect one by one so here you're going to be, it's all just plug and play. Make sure you get the the wire bundle. It's a, it's separate. It's a little bit extra cost. It's like $18. And uh, I'll put the description in the link below. Um, you want to get that than putting your own wires in because it makes it so much easier. You don't have to use the J2 board on top. Um, and it's all just pretty much plug and play. In this position here, you can see exactly where to drill the holes. These are quick connects. Uh, you're just going to put in one quick connect on each wire. And then you're going to put the female side. So it's just each terminal on each end. And of course you strip it. Get some wire strippers. Be very careful because you don't want to. You just want to get enough to catch on. So you strip it back a little bit, and then you put your quick connect. And once you have your wires all set, um, you want to kind of. I didn't really care to keep it neat because um, it's going to be underneath the the cover. Um, you're going to want to. Something, you're gonna have to drill that board just to keep it stable um, what I did was I, I used like a little tapcon screw and just went with the into the board it's time to play the arcade on the ps4 so we got the Mortal Kombat 11 here this, of course, is a classic. You used to play this as a kid, so... That's uh, kind of the reason why I got the arcade in the first place, was to play these old games, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, um, and to relive my childhood. And then, of course, I had to get a PS4. And then put it all together. And the game's booting up, so I'm going to find something to do. Do a flip or two here. And this is Daddy's side, and this is Mimi's side of the game room. And then if you want to switch from arcade to HDMI, you just press that button. And now we are on the PS4. And you can see where we're connected with the HDMI right there. And this is the USB cord that goes from the fighting board. And that's going to go right here into the top port of the PS4 right there. So you plug that in. 
If it doesn't work at first, like it's not working here, um, you just got to start from scratch again. And then I was able to get it. And we got to wait for the game to load up. So we got Mortal Kombat on the PS4 and the HCMI on the Legends Ultimate. The buttons are working good. So you can see I'm in my PS4 account and then just tapping on the keys so at first I didn't have the correct wires in the joystick so up was down and down was up and left was right and I tried playing it here for a little bit but it just gets annoying So I click to the right and it goes to the left. And of course I gotta pick Raiden because that's my favorite character. So the buttons are working good, um, as you can see, but I still gotta fix it. So I gotta take this board back apart and switch these wires. And I got the yellow and green. I'm going to switch those and the red and orange. And then you screw it back in. There's eight screws, four on each side. Buttons work good. The spinning wheels are good. Especially the one in the middle. It's, it's, uh, it's very good for like um, playing the bowling games. Man, so much fun using that spinning wheel um, the joysticks it's really easy to use those weren't standard um, knobs I ordered those daddy's arcade and then we got the time machine we got the Marvel poster Street Fighter Sonic Mega Man and X Man, and then you gotta update the firmware with your AdGames account. Sucks. And we're back online. Um, everything's all connected, and. Now the joystick is working properly, so we got left working left, right working right, up and down. And we're going to do some gameplay here. Hope you guys enjoy the show. And the two new buttons I had to add um, was for the L2 and R2 from the PlayStation controller. 
and so now I have all the all the buttons and of course this is just a fighting game so any first player game if it has like the uh, the joystick um, you won't be able to really use this this is just for fighting games Oh, he got me on that one but then of course I got to get my revenge on the next two rounds check the comeback Yeah, he almost got me here at the end. And then, of course, the final. Rated wins. And now I'm Liu Kang. He's my second favorite player. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's the Brooks PS4 fighting board hookup. Um, it's like sixty-five dollars on Amazon, and of course, you could get the the fighting board cable, which makes it a lot easier than using single wires. And that'll be in the description below. Uh, please comment and share. Um, give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Now enjoy the show.